Happy Saturday, everyone. Welcome to Conquer the Mic, the voices of the future. This show is brought to you by Genius Kids and Radio Zindagi. You can listen to us at 11.70 a.m. every Saturday from 11 to 11.30 a.m. Or you can watch us live on our Facebook pages. If your child is anywhere from two years old till the high school, then this show is the right show for your child. If he would like to share his top uh, thoughts about the critical topics that we are going to give them. If you would like your child to participate, please do email us at renud at gmail.com, R-E-N-N-U-D at gmail.com, or you can call us at 408-899-9324. Listeners, this episode is going to be very interesting. The topics are very critical today, and I have lovely participants here, and I can't wait to hear their thoughts because this is very, very important at this time frame, I personally believe so. Before we jump into the show, we're going to say a big hi from our team. I would like to first introduce Ms. Ira. Hi, Ms. Ira. Hello, ladies. Hello, kids. Hey, hi, children, and uh, hello, listeners and viewers. Excited to be here again. We are live on the Radio Sindhiki Facebook page. So if you're listening on radio, you must go there and view this entire uh, interesting show where we get a peek inside these little kids' uh, thought process and how they think in their minds. Great to be <laughs> That's here. That's lovely, Ms. Ira. I agree with you. All right. And I'm very happy to host with Ms. Anita today. Hi, Ms. Anita. Thank you so much, Ms. Shiva. Thank you, Ms. Ira, for always having us. So excited to be here and all the best kids. Remember, it's most important to just talk your mind, right? Talk loudly, clearly, and we're all here to just encourage you and have lots of fun together, okay? All the best, kiddos. Thank you, Ms. Shiva. Awesome. Before we jump into the show, my friends, I'm going to quickly run through the house rules, okay? We are going to give you three minutes and the topics are already given. So we would like to hear your thoughts. So it'll be great if you can just speak from your mind, not read or not have your cheat sheets on your side. Okay. All right, then. I can't wait, Miss Anita. Who's going to be our first participant? We'll start today's show with, uh, with Riti. Riti, are you ready? So you want to start with introducing yourself, how old you are, and then you can jump straight into your topic. Okay. Uh, hi. Hi, I'm Riti Gador. I go to Shaw Elementary where I am currently a third grader. I live in Pennsylvania and I am eight. Um, I feel that, yes, students should be able to teach a class. First, because they're kids too. Kids know how kids want to learn. They can make it fun. Like at my school, we have big buddies. They're they're teaching us, but in a fun way. It's actually a fact proven that you remember things if they're fun. They stick in your brain if they're fun or exciting. And then I once had a high school student tutor me and we played a game to help me learn my math vocab. By the end of the day, I'd learned all my words. And then my last experience is when sometimes when me and my friends have homework, we like to call each other and discuss it. I'm not afraid of making a mistake because they're my friend circle. We use each other's knowledge and we help each other to get the problems right. Like we, whenever we fail, we find one way how not to do it right, not one failure. And then it would also be a benefit for the student who is teaching because they would learn how to take on responsibility. They'll still have other things they need to do and they'll manage their time wisely. They'll also study more because they haven't been taught all of this stuff. Um, They're still gonna need to study because their motivation is they want the other kids to succeed, get good grades. So that is why I think that, yes, students should teach a class. Thank you for this wonderful, wonderful opportunity. Thanks, Shruti. Amazing job. I liked how you didn't have your speech written down. You just spoke your mind, and that's all public speaking is all about, right? I completely agree with you a few things, right? The students should teach a class. It's all about fun, so completely true. And I also completely agree with you when you said that when you teach, uh, you remember better, right? So, and it also teaches you responsibility because when you're teaching a group of kids, you know that you cannot be goofing around or you cannot be making fun. 
kids are looking back at you. So you want to yourself be responsible. So amazing topic, good selection. Before we move on to the next child, Riti, do you have a riddle or a fun fact or a joke you want to share with everybody today on, on the show? I do. I have a riddle for you. And this is for what? everybody, kids. So think about, just think about one riddle each. We're going to go around and get your thought on a riddle today, okay? That's the, that's the main thing for today's show. So go ahead, Riti. Okay. What has, what tells time but does, has no hands? Anyone? That's interesting. Why like they, why they want to try, yeah. Uh, is it a alarm clock? No. Like a digital clock maybe? Yeah. I knew that answer was not going to be right. That's why I was quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I think Sana wants to try. Sana, do you want to try, sweetie? Was your hands up? No. Oh. Okay, looks like you should give up then, Riti. It's a okay. tough one. It was a rooster since it wakes you up at morning. Oh. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Good one. Good one. Hello, yeah. Good job again, Riti. Amazing presentation. Let's move on today to Mohammed. Mohammed, you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, go ahead. So, all right. Good morning. My name is Mohammed Sayed, and I'm in tenth grade. And the, and my topic for today is should this should the parents of bullies be punished for their actions? My answer to that is yes. And the and the reason to that is so. First, let me tell tell you this: a child isn't born bad. Being bad is usually taught by their parents or at home. Let's think, let's imagine if a bully ends up stealing another student's lunch money and the first thing that comes up in your mind is that person is a bad he's a bad person or how can he do something like that but the perfect question would be where where are his or her parents or why aren't they doing anything about this so the answer to that could be maybe they don't care about them their parents always neglect them and maybe and the fact that they steal other pe kids lunch money is because they're jealous of the fact that they have parents that love them and give them lunch money while their own their own parents do not care about them and they always neglect them every day let's look at another scenario maybe maybe a bully finds another kid walking down the street and then he attacks him right there for no reason obviously you guys are going to call him the monster but then maybe there's another reason towards that maybe uh the bully constantly gets verbally and physically abused by his own parents. And since he's afraid of his parents, he can't put his anger on them. Instead, he, he puts his anger on other kids. And maybe their parents, the bully's parents are drug addicts and they choose drugs over their own child, which means that they're not there for them all the time, which leads them to helping themselves and living by themselves, which affects their mental health. All this concludes to the fact that it's the parent's responsibility that they should be a good influence to the child and it'll affect or else it'll affect their their future and that's this is the reason why i think parents should be held accountable or punished for their actions if their child ends up being a bully thank you good you know a uh, sensitive topic muhammad so you touched mm -hmm. upon different scenarios right uh I think you're completely right. There is no good person, no bad person. There is no good kid. There is no bad kid. It's all situational on what they see and learn from home, from friends. True. You know, just a small piece of advice I want to give to all the kids here is anytime you think that you're in trouble, you don't know the answer to something, you don't know if what's happening in school is right or wrong, who must you talk to immediately? Your parents. Yes, of course, your teachers. But in addition to your teachers, your parents as well, because it's very important. Think about all the experience that your parents have, right? You cannot buy this from money. You can only buy it from real-time experience. And your parents and teachers both always mean well to you. So anytime you, you catch yourself in a situation where you need help, where someone is bullying you, making fun of you, you know what, don't even think twice, come talk to your teachers, come talk to your friends. They'll always you know, uh, kind of make sure that you're in the right path. Okay, I completely agree with you, uh, Mohammed. That uh, you know, things and situations change people, right? So you should always kind of uh, also have consequence because things that you do, if they don't have any consequence, then you want to do them again, right? So maybe like a healthy consequence rather than really a punishment 
would help the kids as well as the family and everybody around. So good, uh, very sensitive you topic. Know, and yeah, anything you yeah. want to add, Ms. Shiva? Go ahead. Yes, Ms. Anita. I, you know what? What's the best part of the presentation that Mohamed did? Mohamed, I really like the way how you gave a perception from the child why he could be bullying. That's the most important thing because often it gets missed out and only the child who gets bullied is being paid so much attention to, but not, not the child. Why? That's the root cause that has to be, I personally feel that has to be um, looked into so much deeper. And I'm glad that young leaders like you, you guys are bringing these things out. I'm very happy to hear that from your moment. And listeners, please, if this is, uh, if this is the kind of future leaders that we are going to have, so give the opportunity to your child to have them participate in the show and share their thoughts on these kind of critical topics that we are going to give them. If you're, uh, if you would like to learn about our program or if you would like to learn about our show, please do call us at 408-899-9324 or email us at r-e-n-n-u-d at gmail.com. We do have 30 plus locations in the Bay Area and we do offer programs from zero years old till the high school. So please feel free to reach us if you would like to learn more about us. All right. All right, Ms. Anita, with that said, who is going to be our next participant? So good job again, Mohammed, for that sensitive topic and really Thanks. appreciate you coming, I think almost every few weeks to our show. And it's not uh, you know common that we see 10th graders participating in these radio shows. So really kudos to you. You're able to manage your time between your studies, your exams, and also public speaking. So good job, keep it going, all right? Thank you. Okay, sure. So let's move on to our next participant here. Vaidehi, are you ready, sweetheart? Uh, yeah. If good morning. Go ahead. I am Vaidehi and I'm 10 years old. I'm in grade five. I live in Nigeria, but I'm currently in India. So I'm truly excited to be sharing my views on Conquer the Mic on the topic. School should have mandated classes in which uh, children teach each other. So I think this is a good idea because when a student teaches a student, it, uh, they get confidence and improve their self-image, not only from learning, but also teaching. Students will be empowered by teaching and learning from each other. They will develop a good habit and they'll have a lifelong love for learning. Students learn a great deal by explaining uh, their ideas to their friends and by participating in activities. Thank you for listening to my views on the topic. Thank you, Vaidehi. That was good. So how long have yeah. you been in India? Uh, it's been two weeks. Two weeks. Oh, two weeks. Yeah. Okay, awesome, awesome. Imagine so, it. Yeah. It's almost one o'clock at night over there, and she's up there, Family. and you know, she, she's up and not even looking sleepy and full exactly. attention. With all the energy she's using her hand gestures and. <laughs> Vedehi, I have a question. So, are these honestly? I mean, just you know, just just uh, asking you, are these really your thoughts, or did you get help in writing them down and putting them to paper? Uh, I had uh, help. But also, I did some of my thoughts, and yeah. I but am, um, you know, I, I appreciate and I'm amazed by how clear you are in, you know, what you think about this topic or any topic in the past that we've seen. And it's really commendable how much clarity you have. It's great. Did you notice one thing, Mazira and Ms. Anita, that Riti and Vaidehi spoke on the same topic, and yes. their ideas are still the same, that yes. they want the students to lead the classroom. Yeah. Our future readers, are, they don't even flinch a little bit that what it takes, I, but they're all ready to I jump in. I am amazed at the confidence. I'm just amazed by the confidence these guys show over here. This is amazing. I mean, think about it. Just a confession and I don't know what we were doing when we were your age. <laughs> I don't even want to go there. I don't even want to go there with you. <laughs> right. But great job, guys. Amazing yes. leadership abilities that you all have. An amazing clarity of your thoughts. That's the best thing that I should You can all get all those extra teachers, future teachers that we can hire anytime. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Internships are all set already. Exactly. Yep. <laughs> Contact us when you go to high school so we can hire you all for genius kids, okay? <laughs> yep. All right. Wait so, <laughs> exactly. So, so Aidehi, do you have any riddle or quiz or anything that you want to share? We would love to hear from you. Uh, actually, in the current, I have no quizzes, but no 
Do you have a rhythm? You, have a joke? Or, you can even share a joke, yeah. Do you have a joke? Joke? Uh, okay. Uh, Did you see like, anything uh, funny around you ever since you've gone to India? Did you see anything funny around you? There's always something in or the funny happening in India all the time. <laughs> in India, but in Nigeria and my school, uh, I don't know. I was just walking. I was like daydreaming and I was looking at the pictures in my school and I just hit a big pole and I bumped my head. Oh. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> it was fine. So, okay, because I have, I have a riddle for you, okay? Oh, no. So, same rules, raise your hands when you know the answer to it, okay? What do you fill with empty hands? I repeat, what do you fill with empty hands? Is that a it's tough like one? Zero and I, I don't even have a wrong answer right now. <laughs> Forget about the right, I don't even have a wrong answer to tell you. <laughs> Anyone wants to guess? Any guesses today? Hearts. Why they yes, why they uh, Gloves. Yes, good job. Awesome. I'm wow. a, you know what? Bye. That was a tough one. And you guess. She's that. such a show off. <laughs> oh my God. She just you know what? Why they gave you made me feel so bad. I couldn't even, like Miss Ira said, I couldn't even think of an answer. I don't even want <laughs> to be here. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome job, Baidi. Mohammed, we missed to ask you. Mohammed, we missed to ask you. Do you have anything that you want to share with our team today? Any jokes or any riddles? Anything is fine. Well, I don't, I'm not really, I'm not good at giving okay, no worries. out riddles. You don't have to. You were good in your presentation, so yeah. that's good. Thank you. in action. <laughs> yep, no I found something to ask, but I'm pretty sure I'll be beaten already. Go ahead, Masira. Go ahead. <laughs> How many months have 28 days? No, I'm not asking you. No, whether he is disqualified, Sana. she's Sana. not even asking you. <laughs> Sana, you, Sana you have the answer? One, one month. <laughs> hey, now oh. Ms. Ira is no, happy. that's wrong. <laughs> I am, of course I'm happy. Okay, anybody else, whether he, do you want to try again? Uh, all 12 months. Ye dekho. Yay. I told you. That's why I don't want to ask you only any answers. Yes, all months are 28 days and then some, some have extra. Yes, that was right. Well, good job, Ms. Ira. <laughs> all right. All right. Let's move on to our final participant in today's show and that is Sana. Sana, you ready? Yes. Go ahead, sweetheart. Hello, my name is Sana Said, and here is my speech. My topic was should... Uh, classes where students teach students be mandated by teachers or adults? My answer to this is yes. And that is because when students, kids can't always tell right from wrong. And if they're teaching other kids something that is not right, there is no one there to correct them. Also, it is not very safe. Not all kids are the same. However, uh, for example, if someone is playing with scissors, and no one tells them to put it down, it may result in injury. And most likely, uh, if there is no adult in the room, there is no one to tell the student to put the scissors down. Lastly, it puts too much pressure on the, per on the student teaching the students because they feel the pressure on not getting anything wrong because there is no one there to correct them if they do. All in all, here were three reasons on why classes where students teach ch students should be mandated by adults. Thank you for listening to my presentation. Awesome, Eight. Sana. So Sana is still supporting the thought that kids should be taught by kids, but in the supervision of adults, right? Yeah. So that's a fair balance. So students get to teach at the same time. If you guys go wrong, there's someone in the classroom to correct you. I think awesome, awesome ideas. You want to add anything, Ms. Ira or Ms. Shiva? Again, uh, you know, uh, good good points. Uh, you know, it's it's great how you get to see on uh, uh, both the sides that you know one there there was there were two participants here who were supporting that motion. Then this uh, these points that Sana came up with that how much pressure it puts that you have to finish your studies, you have to teach other students exactly. also, and then you know, uh, uh, again teachers know right from wrong, and the other the older students who are teaching or somebody else teaching they may not even know what's right or wrong. So again, great point, Sana. Awesome. You know what, Sana, what I like the most is there's always something for us to learn. Yes. Because more than you taking in charge, yes, it's very important for all of us to take in charge, step up and take the leadership. But there is always something that we could learn. And you highlighted that so detailedly in your presentation with examples. That's the best part of it. Because 
students can learn from teachers and teachers can learn from students and you said that the balance is very much needed True. great i mean great thoughts guys great thoughts kiddos and uh, amazing uh, way how you detail the facts great job awesome and i'm sure this is not your first presentation right sana you have been here a few times yeah i took the classes too in summer yeah nice. yeah all right so we have a quick minute before we can wrap up here so sana do you want to share a joke or ask a riddle to your classmates here uh, i can't tell if this is a riddle or a joke but That's okay. uh, how does how does a tree get on the internet how does a what get on the internet tree a tree how does a tree get on the internet internet okay hmm. uh, see again no wow. not even a wrong answer <laughs> why they do you know this one oh she knows this one she too. knows even for this one okay. i think they log in yeah you know oh, what wow. i have an idea I have an idea. We should have a face-off between Vedehi and Yash. Remember, both of them yes. know all the answers. We should do that. Exactly, exactly. Awesome, Vedehi. Awesome. Miss Anita, I have an idea. Why yes. don't we go to our kids and ask what is their favorite topic that they would like to share their thoughts on? Maybe that would be a very interesting sure. one to hear. Sure. All right, Vedehi, if I give you a chance, what topic would you like to share with us? Uh... I don't know. Okay. All right. Think about it. Maybe the next time when we all catch up, that will be the best topic for us to discuss. Until then, this is our team, Genius Case and Radio Zindagi team, signing off from all of you today. Next week is going to be another fun episode with our kids from two years old to six years old. Say, until then, take care and see you next week. Thank Bye-bye. you, kids. Thank you, Miss Ida. Bye. Thank, thank you. Thank you very Bye. much for uh, to the kids also for being here. And thank you yeah. to the parents who make it possible on a Saturday morning. Uh, thank you, everybody. And this show have, is, is going to remain on the Radio Zindagi Facebook page. So you can always revisit. And thank you, children, for being here. Great meeting you all thank again. You all. Awesome. Thank you.